Greetings and welcome back. Today we're continuing our series in Paint.net and we're going to talk about one of the most important features, which is layers. Layers are really, really cool because they allow you to work on individual elements without affecting others. They also allow you to do something really cool called transparency. We're going to use that today to create a lower third for this very video. So what is a lower third? A lower third is a graphic that you'll see pop up on the bottom of a video to give you a little bit of context or tell you who's talking. You frequently see them in the news. And we're going to make this the same size as our video. That's 1920 by 1080. That's 1080p. If you're unfamiliar with screen resolutions for different videos, you can always look them up on the internet. There you go, right there. And we're going to say OK. So here's our layers menu right here. What we're going to do first is we are going to create a new layer. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use the marquee selection tool or the box selection tool and I'm just going to draw a box like this. Now the advantage of working in the same resolution as your video is you've got an idea of proportion so you know what it's going to look like in advance. This is roughly the size that I want it to be and let's see here I want to pick a couple of colors Let's pick our usual colors that we work with here at Cali Tech, and that is going to be kind of a blue and a gray. And then I'm going to use the gradient tool. I'm going to draw straight down like this. We're going to go lighter on top, darker on the bottom, kind of level it out a little bit. Okay, so we've got that. Let's create a kind of a shadow effect for our graphic by duplicating this layer. We're going to select the bottom one, then we're going to move it just a little bit using the move tool. Just offset it a little bit and we can come over here to adjustments and we can go to brightness and contrast and we'll take the brightness uh, right about to there eh, down a little bit there we go that'll work click OK there we go we've got a little shadow effect control D to deselect now you'll notice we've got two different layers here now if I want to keep them separate that's great but this is going to start to take up space the more that I work with more layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge this guy down into the next layer. So this is one element that we're working with. Next, I'm going to select the line tool. And I'm just going to do, you know, something kind of nifty looking. Let's select gold here. And I'm just going to draw a little line right across here. And that's okay. Eh, maybe I don't like that. Delete. Let's maybe move that down to the bottom. There we go. All right. So I've got the layout of my lower third, and I'm going to put text on this later. But what I need to do is I need to remove this white background because I want this to be transparent. The only thing I want to see is this bar right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck the background, and you'll see this checkerboard effect show up right here. Now, after that, I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Save As, and here is the important thing. You want to save this as a PNG. PNG is a format that allows for transparency. And I'm going to call this lower third. And then save. And it's going to give me some options. It's going to let me know how big it is. And so I'm just going to say, OK, flatten. Don't care what the file size is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to put him into our video. And right about now, you should see the video sliding in down at the bottom. And there you go. That's a lower third. This is paint.net. This is transparency, and this is layers. This is your first foray into working with layers. Hope you enjoyed it. We're going to get into more depth later in our series of videos. But this should get you started. Have fun. Play around. Click, like, subscribe. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.